Well, good morning, folks. This is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I'm doing bees today. Not really bees. I'm doing bee chores. Bee chores. All right there, folks. It's Saturday, July 9th. It is 9 a.m., 90 degrees here in southeast Louisiana. And I got some chores that I need to do uh, on some hives out here in the out yard. I have 10 out here, but yesterday I zipped through here. I was on my way into town. I zipped through and uh, wanted to zip by and take a look and see uh, what's going on out here. I don't go out here that much. I set the supers. I was out here every week before, but I, once I set supers and, and get honey flowing, uh, I leave them alone and just add supers as I've discussed in many other videos. And that's what I did out here. I did come back after vacation, after the flow, and check to be sure who was alive and who wasn't. Everybody was alive at that time, um, but I did have some colonies that looked a little weaker, so I moved supers off. I also came out here to get a count of supers, how many I actually had, because I thought I had about 10, 12. Looks like I got uh, 21. Two of those have been robbed out because I do have a dead out. Um, it's dead out on the front stand, and that's part of the chores. I've got to weed it around these things. I have not trimmed around them, and they are grown up. You can hardly see the entrances, but you know the bees don't care too much. It, I just get concerned that that could have a, uh, you know, an adverse effect on ventilation. Um, so I'm going to trim around them. But out of those 19, I think maybe, maybe two or three might not be all the way drawn. I don't remember. I know when I moved a few to make space, I, I because when I came out, I saw a few weaker ones. I wanted to make space on some stronger ones uh, that were bearding very heavy because the flow wasn't quite over when I got back. So I do think I moved a few supers that still had some foundation in them because the hives were weak. Um, so they may not all be full, but it's still got to come out here and get them. So we're going to trim around these and we're going to take care of that dead out. So the chores today is trimming around these and these things are packed in here. You can't see the other ones, but they're packed. They're packed and stacked. Uh, everybody's got supers. Minimum two. This one's got five. That's a that's a, uh, a 20, uh, 20, 20 queen right there. So we're gonna get this trimmed out and cleaned up. something dead it looks like bee death but I'm wondering if I just hit a bunch of dead bees underneath there when I went I didn't smell it till I got underneath it all the landing boards were loaded yesterday and everybody's flying I pulled that bottom board to see if there was anything but the bees were all good in there like all these bees are loaded up in the I vented all of these before I left you can see where I've got the sticks they're all vented. The bees aren't real excited. They're not stingy or anything. I'm not saying I wouldn't have put a suit on, but they're not all over my veil or my legs. But I smell it. Could have been just, I don't know what it is. I don't like the smell though. But we'll be in here in another few days. I don't have a, I'm not going to open them up. I got my stuff, but I'm not going to open them. See this tree is one of them mimosa trees. Y'all saw it on Bob Benny's video. We have a lot of them down here. And they do hit them hard. These were in bloom. And they stay in bloom for a long time. Um, I don't care for them. But they are good honey trees. I don't necessarily. I wouldn't. My neighbor's got two of them. If I had one in my yard that was big, I wouldn't chop it down. But I'm not going to propagate it. They're a very messy tree. I don't know. Maybe that was just a. Could have been a dead varmint. Who knows. All the bees are healthy. That one don't have a lot on the landing board now, but it did yesterday. It was loaded. I gotta think this helps with ventilation. 
it was loaded and there's plenty of bees guarding the ventilation holes and the warped lids so this is my killer hive man this thing is what queen's a she is something so she's a new queen this year and she is something so i'm looking forward to propagating some of her genetics in the yard next year let's take a look at the one up front yeah i gotta think that helps with ventilation it's cool in the shade wow feels good relative i guess relative term i smell that smell again that's gotta be something else i see no piles of dead bees or anything like that it's gotta be something else everybody's alive so so let me talk about the dead out real quick uh what the problem is 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 it's a summer swarm and you know i've had a dead out at the house you saw got robbed and then in the next video another one was robbed out because i made a mistake on that one rookie mistake um something i knew i shouldn't have done but as far as these other dead outs that i come up on like this one and the other one that was robbed out those are summer swarms we have those summer swarms um you know and i don't know if people like to say a lot of things about you know how did you let them swarm what happened well, they they just do sometimes their trigger point may have been off from my timing just a bit not to mention i didn't have enough supers this year like i uh like i needed so i was moving and swapping you just don't catch every single tr single trigger point so i i do call them i've read this before but i'm not saying this is what they are but i i consider them like a reproductive type of swarm the multiplication swarms in the spring that's our normal hey let's swarm and then we get to the place where we have summer swarms which are basically like an overcrowding swarm where they have backfilled the brood nest both the same thing both are overcrowding both begin to build and overflow the brood nest i understand that but one they are actually planning to swarm in the spring that's i consider that one a little different and we fight that one with you know splits and all that stuff of course but something with uh with the summer swarms is they're not really looking to swarm. Problem is, we don't keep enough space for them, and they end up with a bunch of nectar backfilling the nest. So, I always miss a few in the summer. That's just how it happens, and they don't requeen very well at all. Just because summer is a tough time for them, there's a lot more dragonflies. The birds have honed in on their locations at this point. I've got lots of bees just bearding and flying, and box, 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 and they could land on this wrong landing board just because i got my hive stacked close to each other so just summer swarming is is always a lower percentage and there's probably other reasons too i'm not sure of but i just know that they are so i have summer swarms uh that what happens is you don't catch them because once i'm stacking supers that's what i'm doing is stacking supers and making sure they have space and as long as they've got space i leave them alone i get to the point where in this case i don't stack anymore because i'm out and we have a few that maybe that point was just missed and they left and they don't requeen and usually around july august you start to see them drop off and be gone um, especially in the out yard so what happens that one looked like it got slime because there was stuff on the front uh dried up of course it's been a while and it happened summer swarms happen another person i noticed uh talked about swarming now it's been a couple years it, it, two seasons in a row he said something about it. And that's bob benny I, I liked where he showed uh last year he showed a yard where they were working he said oh all those empty spaces those were summer swarms they didn't requeen or they moved them or what did whatever to manage them you know so it happens to the big guys too um it's just something in the south that sometimes we we miss that one point or we miss that one spot and poof poof <laughs> that's what i meant to say was poof <laughs> they're gone and of course we don't see it happen because there's still bearing still plenty of bees but then that drop happens rapidly and, it, and it, it's funny because you'll see bees, you'll see bees, you'll see bees. They've already swarmed, you didn't realize it. All of a sudden you see a little bit of a reduction on the front. And you think, okay, hmm, suspicious a little bit. Then, and, and I don't run in them at that point. But then they drop fast because the workers are dropping very fast in the summer. Because they're working so hard and they're not being replaced. And it's eight weeks before the first uh, uh, batch of brood, if the thing requeens, eight weeks before they emerge. Well, down here, that's prime time for the beetles and everything else when they're weak and you've got it stacked tall with supers. So that's why I go through and when I see lower numbers, I go ahead and move supers. I don't start digging through the hive necessarily. Sometimes I do, but 
most time I move super save the honey and see what we're gonna uh, see if they're gonna requeen um, because there's not a lot you can do unless you just go ahead and combine at that point in time big beekeepers we watched Bob Benny do it uh, on a video a couple weeks ago and uh, that's what they do me uh, I just don't go back through them because I don't have that arsenal of hives to do that with so anyway my explanation why you're seeing these you're wondering well dang Mike are you managing your bees yeah I manage my bees but um things happen sometimes and that's how it works they, they swarm and we miss that point so we got one dead out we're gonna clean out up here we'll get all those frames pulled the biggest thing is is to try and get them before the equipment gets ruined that's my biggest challenge just try and get them before the equipment gets ruined but that's what we're gonna do up there I think that's equipment might be shot but we're gonna look all right let's take a look at this stand there's my jars. I also came out here yesterday to uh, drop off some honey to the uh, landowner. And those are jars he given me back. So, the one weak hive I figured of all of them that was going to go was this weak one. And it might have. I'm going to open it and see. But yesterday there were bees coming and going. This is the one that's dead out. Two supers on it. I really wasn't expecting this one to go. But it must have been a swarm and didn't requeen. So we're going to get it cleaned up and look in this one really quick everybody else should be all right um, pulling honey off of all of them that one there was a build up we took a nuke off of it and I must have da damaged the queen because there were emergency cells in it uh, a week or two later so I had to let them requeen and that put them way behind so they were just building up so they hopefully they filled their top deep with honey we're not going to go through it though I'll do that on assessments and they're healthy I did come back she was laying uh, eventually and so that's a that was a build-up during the flow so they should be hopefully ready for winter uh, after we get everything situated with treatments and all that good stuff let's open this one that's a dead out yeah see there and garden their entrance garden that honey see if we can save equipment I don't have a smoker lit because it's a dead out so I'm just gonna open it and then I want to get all this done before I start weed eating all of the other ones man they were calm they didn't seem to mind at all Wow, there's still some honey in this. No, is there? Hmm. That would be unusual, wouldn't it? That means it would have just died. Oh, wow. There's two supers of honeys on this thing. There's honey down there, too. Well, I must say, this is quite a surprise. A good surprise. Um not all capped of course but that's all right I, I this is one i think i moved over here because they were weak i can't see that the other colony would be alive but we'll look but man that can't be but why wouldn't they be getting robbed unless there's a flow and look those bees next door they were uh they were pretty calm so maybe there's some kind of flow down here we are further south i see beetles running around not many i just saw one or two just in but i'm gonna put this in the back as is This one's full of honey too, guys. This is a pretty nice surprise. I see people. I see bees in there chewing on the caps a little bit, but why would they have not found this by now? There's gotta be some kind of flow. Look at this. Huh. The fact that I found some. And below it's robbed. They started robbing it, but huh, isn't that something? Not only to save equipment, I think I have saved honey. Wow, gotta be a flow going on. There's gotta be something happening why they are not interested in this honey. Oh, that's a full box. Yeah, that 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 colony's dead. There's nothing in there. I'm amazed people this doesn't happen in the south I'm just saying I know you guys up north get this especially with uh, fall dead outs where it's cold and maybe winter dead outs for sure you get it we don't get this we we don't have this happen there's a beetle Wow I'm gonna look in the bottom let me get this off in case they do decide they want to start robbing I don't know what's going on let's kind of push them on out if they're robbers they'll go right on out and they are quite the development folks there's honey in here let's 
See if there's a, surely there's no colony in here. Not with the front off. Oh, this is empty. There's nothing in here. And looks like emerged cells and killed cells. See, so that one was killed from the side. That one looks emerged, but there was probably others. There's an emerged cell right there. So they swarmed. Yeah, actually, that one, there's the bottom of it. It was killed on the side. Yeah, they swarmed. It was a overcrowding swarm, summer swarm. There's an emerged cell right there. That's an emerged cell right there. So it was a swarm. Uh, didn't requeen and bees got robbed maybe you would think but no in this case he didn't I mean I see where honey has been torn up and opened up there's some small white capping debris and all but not much that's a this is unusual not to find this thing full of full of small hive beetles and still have honey and it couldn't have just happened silver lining equipment saved everything so i'm gonna leave it for now and look through this one and see what we got so let's look through the next door colony see what they're doing and um i don't know get this one loaded up do some trimming and call it a day it's all i'm gonna feed this back to my bees still full of honey but you know this top is right all honey I expected this one to be the one that I was going to find dead out here. Oh man, it's full of honey. Guys, this one is dead. There's two out here that are goners, and this one is loaded with honey. My goodness. I honestly did not expect this one to live, and it didn't. Okay, I didn't expect it to. It was weakening down. I just said, the heck with it. I wasn't going to mess with it. It had something going on that just didn't seem right. I wasn't going to try and promote an inferior queen I see no swarm cells this one had was on the decrease before the flow started but what's crazy is all the honey is still in these boxes That one's heavy. It's full of honey. Robbed out a little bit, but not much. Like a bunch of pollen and mess, a little bit of wax moth trail. So we'll get this one sitting out and freeze and killed and restored and. Three frames of honey in this thing, guys. Ah, uh, I don't get it. Three full frames, maybe two. Ah, whatever. I'm not gonna complain. And this one just had a bunch of old pollen-y, waxy cappings. They started robbing it. It's like they stopped. Could there be? something coming in no wax moth no small hive beetle larvae I mean I saw a wax moth trail in one of them that's it we've got two dead outs out here always sad to lose them but at the same time the silver lining is our equipment didn't get ruined before we could get to it. And matter of fact, we even might have some honey. Well, we do have some.
So they're, they, they seem to be pretty pleased, these bees. They don't seem to be upset. The ones over there weren't upset. I did smell that dead smell over here too. I'm thinking, not in the stands, but over on the road. I'm thinking it's just the wind blowing something from over in the woods or something. But they've all went inside with that weed eater. Instead of coming out after me, they went inside. I'm just amazed at how calm they are over here. These landing boards were packed yesterday. All right, folks, time to cool down. Give me some water. And head on to the house, unload these boxes. A um, little bit of a silver lining. Thought we were going to have, well, it's kind of good and bad. First, it's a dead out. That's never good. Thought it was only one, ended up being two. Still not good. Silver lining. The moths and the beetles hadn't destroyed the equipment yet. I just knew that that'd been, I thought it'd been slimed. I saw yellow on the front. Apparently, that was just all that pollen. Uh, left the honey, everything. That doesn't happen around here, folks. Uh, that's just not something that happens around here. Uh, I guess I could take this off. I don't know why I'm sitting here burning up. But, uh, yeah, unusual. So, again, uh, I usually get my losses this time frame anyway. This is when it, when it happens. Summer and the fall. Uh, we get them. It happens. It is what it is. I uh, hadn't been out here in a long time. Very pleased with what I'm seeing as far as the supers and what we've got. Uh, everything else out here is doing fine. Got them all cleaned up. Got the vegetation down. I usually do that more often, but that vacation, going on vacation, that was one month I didn't come out here and do it. And then the time I got back, I was so busy trying to get ready for harvest. So, making excuses, but in the end, we finally got it done. Glad that's finished. And uh, I'm going to head on to the house now. So, a few bee chores. Got to go clean some boxes up. Start preparing frames for storage, brood frames. Uh, I got some nukes I need to move so I can use some frames out of the freezer and put them in 10 frames, things like that. So we got places for the frames, start freezing these, freezing for about three or four days, maybe a week, well, probably a week because I'll do it on the weekends. Stack them in some boxes with Paramoth, call it a day, vent them out in January. That's the plan, guys. Hey, I hope you like this video. If you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you don't mind, of course. And I really appreciate all you guys' support. Barry's Best Honey, I'm Mike and I do bees. Y'all have a wonderful day, and may God bless you. We'll see y'all later.